Hey guys, how you doing? I was tagged to do a video uh, from Jay at uh, The Self-Sufficient Life. Well, to be truthful, he didn't tag me. He asked me if I'd like to do a uh, video on the subject, and I told him I would. He didn't really tag anybody straight out, and I don't think I will either. Um, the video subject is some things about myself, and so... As Jay did, he didn't want to come right out and tag somebody to make them talk about themselves if they didn't want to. So, at the end of this, if uh, you feel like you want to do a video, just let me know in the comments and cons consider yourself tagged. But, uh, anyway, this is called Some Things About Me. I don't know if there's a particular number. I've seen there's been a 13 Facts About Me thing going around. Uh, and I don't know what the exact questions were, so I just kind of followed Jay's uh, lead on that. He started out with where he was born. I, I was born in Topeka, Kansas, and uh, lived there most of my life. I, as a young man, lived in Texas and in Phoenix, Arizona, but I really don't remember them. I was pretty small, and then we came back to Kansas. I lived a few years in California when I was in the Marines, and I'll touch on that later. Most of my life, as I said, I've been here, lived in a little town in uh, just outside of uh, Topeka for 11 years, but then moved back. Um, Moderate-sized town with a capital city, so it's big enough we have a lot of the, th lot of the things that big cities have, but uh, we're still small enough that I don't feel like I'm in a large town. And um, as Jay was saying, I'm not a big town guy. I'm not crazy about it, but... I like a town big enough to have what I need, if you know what I mean. If, you know, if I want to go somewhere, if I want to do something, if I'm working on something, I can go get what I need, and you know, I'm not driving 50 miles to get a uh, bolt that I need to finish something. But uh, anyway, that was the first part about uh, where I've lived. He kind of touched on where he would like to have lived, and uh, if I had to say anywhere, it'd be Australia. I have family that uh, moved over there way back, and uh, we've been in contact. It was kind of neat to uh, see how the lives have, you know, went different ways. You know, his family left uh, the United States in the 1850s, and had been over there. They didn't know about us over here, and I just recently found out about them, oh, probably 10 years ago. But anyway, Australia is a place I would love to live if I could. Next uh, subject was music. I basically rock and roll. I like the 70s and 80s rock, but I'm also a fan of music like uh, Hank Williams, Senior. I, lo I love the early country. I'm not a fan of the newer country. 60s country I, I liked, but uh, basically rock and roll. Um, 80s hair bands. If I had to name favorite bands, it would be Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, uh, Rush, Pink Floyd. Um, can't hear a Van Halen song that I don't crank the radio up. So that's kind of my taste in music. Um, Music-wise also, I think Jay was talking about he, he likes to be a singer and was a singer at one time. I would have loved to have been a musician. I bang around on guitars. Um, I got a couple of brothers that are pretty good. That have, one of them played uh, in a band and the other ones, you know, play, well, I guess they both played in bands and uh, cousin plays in bands. Just a musical family, but uh, always wanted to be a musician, but the uh, only thing lacking was talent. So I played to keep myself happy. And the next thing was sports. Well, truthfully, I'm not a big sports guy. I I can't sit and watch a game. To me, it's, I don't know, I just, I, I can't do it. And uh, part of it is because I don't know all the stats, I don't keep up on it, I don't keep up on the players, and so I don't really have any connection. I mean, if I knew somebody, when my sons played baseball, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the game. 
because I knew somebody playing. You know, I had a dog in the fight, if you would. Um, the only sports you say I really did is when I was uh, early, when I was in the Marines, and then when I got out in my early twenties, uh, uh, I studied martial arts. I studied Taekwondo. I only got up to a brown belt, but uh, I enjoyed that. Wouldn't mind doing that again, but uh, afraid I would hurt myself. But um, work. I think I've always worked. Uh, my dad grew. When, when I was growing up, if my dad was doing something and um, he was that kind of guy, hands-on, I mean, uh, if, if it needed fixed, he can fix it. Um, you know, if he heard a car going down the road, he could tell you exactly what's wrong with it. Um, just a hands-on kind of guy. If, if it needed fixed, he knew how to do it. Or, you know, still does. But uh, also, if he was out there doing the work. You weren't inside setting. You were out helping him. You know, and I kind of followed that same line with my uh, oldest son, and uh, he told me one day, he said, Dad, you couldn't send me to uh, college, but uh, you taught me what uh, you knew, and you had me out there when in, whenever you did anything. He now owns a, a small uh, home construction business, and um, so I think that was good. But anyway, as I said, if my dad was doing something, I was out there working with him. He uh, laid carpet, so I was there helping him lay carpet, uh, you know, in the summertime or on weekends. But that wasn't too often on weekends, but uh, mainly just during the summertime. My first job, I was a uh, real job, 14 years old. I was working at a local amusement park. <laughs> that was something else. I, I remember I was running what they called the bat swings, had an old V8 motor and the swings. Nowadays, I, I don't know if I'd get caught, you know, wanting to write something like that. I mean, it, it was bad. But uh, that and the tilt of world and I was making 90 cents an hour. And I remember when I got a raise to $1.10, the owner came and set me down and uh, gave me a little speech about the uh, responsibility that came, that came with that 20 cents. And he meant it. Uh, He's pretty serious, and he, he taught you that uh, that money just didn't come freely. You just didn't get it. You earned it. If you got a raise, you earned that raise. Um, from there, I went into the military. Well, not from there, you know, I had odd jobs and stuff, uh, uh, fast food and stuff like that while I was still in school. Then I went to the military, came out, I worked at the VA hospital for three years. Um, UPS, I worked there for a little bit. Then I got a job working in a printing and publishing uh, company. Worked there for 26 years. And uh, during that time, when you first start out, it's uh, seasonal, and you, so you had some layoffs. So I, I did anything under the sun to keep going. I did heating and cooling. I did electrical, uh, plumbing, painting, you name it, anything to uh, keep money coming in. And, you know, until I got called back to work, well... Finally got full time, and I was working there, as I said, 26 years, and pretty good little uh, job, you know, made a decent wage, and uh, came in one day, and they said, uh, we're shutting the doors. So, there I was, uh, 52 years old at the time, and had no clue what I was going to do. So, I went and got a CDL, so now I drive the truck. Um... The next thing he talked about was uh, my personal life, if you would. Um, I'm married, been married uh, 30 years, have four kids. We, actually five, we lost one, uh, a daughter. She would be 22. Um, she lived today and then passed away. But uh, we have four kids, one daughter and then three, three boys. And then um, we have four grandkids. Um, two boys and a daughter from my oldest son and then the oldest child my daughter she has a little boy so four grandkids all together and as I said uh, been married uh, 30 years and uh, been pretty happy most of the time sorry dear if you hear this um, then he talked a little bit you know it says it's a talk about being in the military uh, I was in the Marines as some of you know and I was an 81 millimeter mortarman, 
I was stationed at 29 Palms, California. I was a squad leader. I uh, had a training position at one time. I was a Jeep driver. My plans was to retire and uh, stay in the, the military. You know, that was going to be my last job at the time. I actually joined at 17 years old. And um, I'm going to tell us a little story here. My career was abruptly put to an end. And um, as I said, I was a squad leader. And I was at the enlisted club, and uh, one of my men was in there, and he was out there. Let's just say he was out there. And uh, he was in the bathroom showing some stuff that he had. And I'm saying, what are you doing? He's I said, look what I got, I just bought this, and he, I stopped telling him, I'm yelling at him, shut up, shut up, you know, and he I grabbed, I'm not going into what he had, but he had some stuff that he wasn't supposed to have, and I says, get out of here, let's get back to the barracks, let's get out of here, and I didn't get two steps outside of the bathroom, and two MPs grabbed me, took me into another room, I got arrested, the other guy in my unit got arrested, and I kept hoping that he would step up and admit that it was not mine and that I was trying to get him out of there and get him back to the barracks, but that never happened. And one of them things, it was my word against the other guy, and he was an undercover guy, so I got drummed out um, for actually protecting one of my men. So that was kind of a uh, rough end of my military career. I've never really admitted that to anybody before. It's not how I wanted wanted it to end. And, uh, you know, to this day, I would still like that guy to step up and go, hey, I did you wrong. It was mine. But uh, I don't think that, that's ever going to happen, you know. But I know. I know the truth. And... Uh, I know there are some guys in my unit that they know the truth. They they know what happens. So, I, I you know that makes me feel better, and I still talk to a few of them today. But anyway, I don't want to keep going on on that. That's a few things about me. A few things. Uh, hope I didn't bore you to death. Again, I'm not going to tag anybody, and um, I'm going to let this video run for a while. I don't know how long I'm going to leave this up. But if this is something you feel like you would like to do, let me know in the comments, and uh, and we'll just say you're tagged that way. And uh, if you don't want to get as personal as I did, you don't have to. But uh, Jay that tagged me, The Self-Sufficient Life, I'd like you guys to go check him out. Good guy. Um, got a lot, his, his name tells you, The Self-Sufficient Life. You know, a lot of uh, homesteading uh, and gardening and stuff like that. Uh, great guy. Right now he's going through some stuff. He had a pretty bad surgery, so uh, he's having some issues with talking. But I hope you go check him out. And guys, hope you had a, a blessed Easter. Thanks for watching.